I am on the wagon. He is on the wagon. To be on the wagon. Three idioms that mean the same. So this video will teach you what the idiom means today and what it means and how to use this idiom together with the history behind this idiom. Okay. Up until the 3rd of November 1783, highwaymen, which is another name for a robber or thief by gunpoint, and such was John Austin, who became the last man to be executed in Tyburn in London, marking the end of an infamous 600-year history. The notorious Tyburn Hang Tree was located near Marble Arch at the top of Oxford Street in the bustling heart of London. Condemned criminals such as John Austin were transported from Newgate Prison to Tyburn, watched by huge crowds along the route. This journey could take several hours and included a stop at the local inn where the prisoner or prisoners would be offered a drink to calm down. And then after they had devoured their drink, they would climb back on board the wagon and their feet would never touch the ground again. And of course, if anyone said, hey, do you want another drink? They had to say, oh no, sorry, he's on the wagon, thanks. Once at Tyburn, the prisoners were positioned beneath the gallows on a horse-drawn carriage and the noose placed around the neck. The carriage would then be moved away, leaving the, hing the prisoners hanging and dangling from the tree. And death could really take up to three quarters of an hour. Today, being on the wagon typically refers to the decision to stop drinking alcohol or using drugs. And it's often used as a way to express one's commitment to, to sobriety or abstinence. If anyone offers me a drink, I will tell them, sorry, I'm on the wagon, meaning I'm on the wagon and I am not drinking at the moment. The, the phrase on the wagon is also thought to have originated in the United States in the late 19th century. The exact origins of the phrase are unclear, but it may have come from the practice of temperance societies or rehabilitation programmes where people who were trying to quit drinking would literally get on a wagon and ride away from places where they used to drink as a symbol of their commitment to sobriety. Now, the phrase was first recorded in print in 1891 in the New York Times in an article about a group of men who had pledged to abstain from alcohol and were gathered at a wagon in a parade. It is also possible that the phrase comes from the water wagons that used to spray the streets and keep the dust down in the late 1800s, which were often used as a symbol of sobriety. OK, here are some examples of using the idiom on the wagon. Do not offer her a glass of wine. She is on the wagon. He's been on the wagon for 10 years now since he got married. You should go on the wagon if you, can't, if you cannot drink responsibly. I promise not to fall off the wagon again. I learned my lesson the hard way. Well, I hope you enjoyed the history behind this idiom and the examples I have just given. So, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay.